Hey guys, welcome back. It's Enfa. I'm by myself today because I'm going to go through a tutorial on how to play Dwarves or Zombies for you. Right now we're in the lobby. I'm not even sure what map we're doing at the moment, to be honest. We have enough people for no hero games, so this might actually work out well. Well then. It's time to play oh, my, 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 Wars we do have versus right. Zombies! Heroes, three names that are in yellow on the chat there. Um, start off with basic uh, full set of armor, weapons, and everything that they need specific to themselves. And us normal players have to go get items. Hello, I will take all of that. So, your key is, you want armor, weapons, and definitely some cobble. It will depend on how long you want to last. You don't want to place it in the I personally set my hotbar up like this. Healing heal, sword, bow, bow, shield. And then miscellaneous stuff after that. I gather wood first. Gathering wood, you right click with the Spam right click. One plank to one stick, one stick to four bolts. That should be enough. And then you just, and then it's um, one bolt of four mortar, I believe. And then you turn the sticks into torches and the bowls into mortar. Mortar is used on cobble and other walls to turn them blue before the game starts, which makes them harder for the mobs to destroy. Super mortar will do the same after the game starts. But as you can see, there's mortar in my hotbar right now. And it, yeah, it's four for every bowl. Oh, it is so slow getting them. And I'm just holding right click. You don't have to spam click this one. And then off to the quarry to get cobble. Oh, gold, actually. Gold, give me gold. Gold is used to make armor at a uh, armory spot, blacksmith area. Or... After the fighting starts, you can take your armor, put it in your hand, and smack it on the ground or in the air. Well, usually against the surface, and the gold will be consumed, and it will repair your armor for you. So, get uh, for the beginner, about a half a stack of gold is good. Half a stack to a full stack. For the more advanced players, or somebody who thinks they're going to last a while fighting, Usually, I usually personally get about two stacks nowadays. Oh, come on. It's, it does take a while to collect all the materials you need, unfortunately. But, and you have approximately five minutes at the start if you join. If you join into a game that hasn't started. Alright, I'm going to be some more dark. Easy 
empty slabs. It's like I start with most of the top row, except not as much as is there right now. Somebody gave me a lot of stuff. I picked up a lot of stuff with somebody. somebody punch you with armor. I'm actually gonna try and make some when you get armor you see the struggles but to make armor you put a gold nugget onto one of these moving pistons right click it with a pick and it takes some time but it will eventually refine into gold a uh, gold block oh, this usually doesn't take me this long come on you mine up the gold block and you have a gold piece of armor you go smack this on a armorless jimmy and he gets armor buddy um this the healing ale left click not right click if you drink it you screwed yourself out of a healing ale if you left click it it insta heals you all the way back up to full health it uses mana which is the where the experience bar normally is the number of thousand is my mana right now so if I heal I lose 100 and it regens fairly quickly depending on actually I don't know if it depends on day or night I'm not I need to test that but it usually heals up fairly quickly so, if you start running low on mana, run from the mobs, get back inside, and pretty much work on just not taking damage for a while, and you will regen your mana back up. I am building a front wall because nobody else did. Well, a second. All you do is um, left click the bow. Left clicking the bow will create arrows as well as repair your sword and the bow itself as well when they take damage. So, fairly simple for that. Oh, how do you get a sword, really? Um, pretty much to pick up every any item on the game, you just right click it wherever it's laying. So, if you see a sword, you right click it, it'll give you a sword and a shield. Shields hold out while you're running away, and you'll take a little bit less damage, which allows you to get away faster and not die in the meantime. I almost got killed doing that earlier, but I got, what, half a heart with poison before I managed to heal up and survive. Because of the shield, I was able to last even that long. So the shield is OP. Very, people, very few people actually use it. Mostly titles will use it a lot to um, run back and heal up, and whatnot. Alright, would you give me a minute to build a little it would help, all you're doing is wasting time. Um, some of the special items I have in my inventory. Super Mortar, you see this blue on the wall right here? Oh wow, this wall is not really tall. Oh yeah, it's plenty tall, never mind. 
Why did you destroy my block? Don't make stairs, morons. Never make stairs on the front lines. All it does is allow the zombies faster access, which means you die faster. Um, bows, as I said, left click gives you arrows. I have an upgrade. I have one of the upgrades, so I get more arrows. Normally, you'd get like one or two max from left clicking once. Um, come on, give me lots of arrows. If I'm correct, arrows don't work within like one or two blocks of you. It won't do any damage to mobs. Um, always keep a pickaxe on you. Always make sure you have cobblestone because if you plan on fighting on the front lines, you will get knocked off the wall. There is no might. You will. At least one time in a game, you will get knocked off a wall and have to tower back up. So, my hotbar, let me finish setting this up before I get killed. Actually, I'm going to put these there. Uh, that there, and wrenches. So, always make sure either one, you have a back wall so that nothing can spawn behind you. And we have Dragon Rage. There's always a Calamity right as night falls. And this time it is Dragon Rage. So I'm going to get with the killing spell. Try not to die myself. Oh crud, I'm can't heal. I need to run. I don't want to die yet. Don't die yet. Don't die yet. Don't die yet. Okay, there we go. Dragon Rage pretty much you kill off and people keep getting killed off until there's enough people dead. And then it stops and miles monsters are released. I went blind because I wasn't near torches. Staying near torches makes you not blind. Being blind means one, you can't see, and two, you can't sprint. Why is there a tunnel in the wall? This is I'm not set up before nightfall so is a This event you stole my mark. you just saw is allows you to one shot and kill mobs for I want to say five seconds. If you the roaring sound is my progress. but not as hard at all. Oh, joy. Um, what did I remove to do that wrenches? I need those. As I was saying about repairing armor earlier, you just take it out of your... Take it off yourself, put it in your hotbar, punch it on the ground. It repairs. Consumes some gold. There are upgrades to make it consume less because it'll upgrade better every time. Where's my shield? Nope, 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 get off me. I cannot see. I cannot see. Chalice, get off me. AI. 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 Let me sit in my corner here. Which is 
also in my hot bar because I accidentally pressed it. Should probably switch that with torches first. Because torches are gonna get destroyed like crazy, anyways. Lag on this game equals death. my torch I can't see now. Holding a torch will allow you to see so if you're running away and there's no mobs near you how did that golem get there? Shredded. Always keep watching it. At the least, every five minutes. Usually more than that. players, when you've li lost your first row of hearts, go ahead and heal up. You may run out of mana faster, but it'll take you a while until you get a little better. And then you can wait until I say Things. 
Like I said, the heroes have lots of special. Oh dear, I just got knocked out by wolves. No, what's it doing inside? sometimes because it has to be repaired so often. That's what was missing. Repair, repair, repair. Um, the brick that's on my hotbar right now, that's an easy slab. It puts up, I want to say, a three thick, three or four thick by like nine wide, nine tall, whatever, something like that. You know, four or five tall, nine tall, whatever. It puts up a fairly sturdy wall. You just slap it on the ground and boom, instant wall. The blue mortar here, this is the super mortar. It will. Oh, excuse me. Turn all this blue, even after the mobs are spawned. There are shovel kills. I don't do that because I'm not suicidal. Not saying grave diggers are. They're just a lot better at rolling rocks with shovels than digging zombies. Protect the walls, Jimmy's. Protect the walls. Fall damage. So have to use that all the time. Pretty much, if it can hurt you, it will. Hurt you. Um, bows do not work under rules. Not very well, at least. See the red particles? Blood, obviously. Digging zombies! I am bleeding. Protect you the walls, Jimmy! Protect the walls! Once your mana gets down to 500, you start bleeding. The lower your mana gets, the more profusely you bleed, and the more zombies are going to swarm you and try to murder you. So, do, do your best when you get down like that. Run back immediately. Like, as soon as you've hit 500, don't even wait any longer than that. Otherwise, you will most likely die. It's something, but I didn't really hit because it didn't die. That's a better rat. Where is this poison skelly that keeps shooting me? Oh, it keeps hitting me, oh my lord. Hi, digging Zambi, come here. I want to give you hugs with my axe sword. So used to be playing with an axe. Oh, I thought it was coming after me. Get off me! 
Nerd, why me? Nerd, why me? We both know how this is going to Clicking. Come here, come here. No, you're not getting away from me. Oh, that wolf got away, darn it. Oh, man. oh well, I think he got it anyways. Okay, that was close yet again. And my armor is almost broken, so that was a good time to evacuate anyways. Armor breaks really fast, it only has on breaking 4 unless you're a hero, and then it has on breaking 10. So always check your armor, because otherwise you die really fast without it. Like, two shot kill, kinda fast. Why am I blind? <laughs> you'll find them at the third shrine, like, early on. I almost drank my health pod, that would have been bad. Iron Golem! Archer! Focus them down! Beat me to it. It's late in the season. I know I'm, I'm trying, but there is honestly no way I'm going to title this season. However, there, hopefully I will get one this season. Don't let those creepers near my. Schedules are funky. This is a super shield! try to last to the last five here. Mobs, pretty much I can actually explain the mobs without Mobs you spawn in, you have a monster head in your inventory. There should be a zombie head every time. Weird stuff happening.
Unfortunately, I didn't get to show you how they work or the easy slabs, but if you just watch my normal videos, they can show up a lot because I have them and I use them as well. Yeah, that was just bad luck on my part because I killed the guy with four wolves and wolves are impossible to kill solo pretty much unless you're Bruce Willikers and then you just kill them. Stop doing that in this event. This is the upgrade menu. Hold on. Actually, let me go back. This is the mom menu. You can pick between. You start off with Dingin a zombie zombies. by default. You have Protect to the walls, Jimmy's. Protect you can the walls. Protect the walls. Skeleton creeper with 25 mana. Everyone has level upgrade levels, so like I can upgrade. Oh, I can actually upgrade that. You fool! And there goes I was event. merely an illusion of this and event. Then <laughs> <you're in laughs> what mob it is. Zombies never change. Always has the same stuff. Pretty much. And let's go. So now I have a pick. I have a couple other upgrades, mostly health. And somebody else died. Jeez, I could have easily made it to the top if I had died. This makes me sad. Old man! Bad Willikers. Bad. leave you to do your own mobs to figure out how to do this, of you're gonna play with them on upgrades and whatnot. I won't recommend because I still don't know it. He is not a hacker. I don't know why they think he's a hacker. I'm sorry, I do get very easily sidetracked. Oh, Jimmy! Blow up! Blow back! Hey! There goes the shrine. And there goes a ranger. Give me the... Hi! Hi, person! Hi, person! No, don't run past me! Go back that way! Go back! That way. Go back. Go back. Die already. Just let me kill you. Let me kill you. Digging zombies! Protect the walls, Jimmy! No, I can't. Protect the walls! Oh, you have strength buff. Um, you lose your strength buff as a dwarf if you're in darkness. So, enchanted lamps are awesome. Being able to see, and get your strength buff. Torches can do the same thing, but. Digging Zambi, special mob. Oh lord, I'm fast as hell. Can we just kill this guy and be done with him? Jeez. He's bleeding profusely. Just die already. This guy is walking away because some creeper but come up this way. Go oh, bad, bad, more bad, more bad, give some. And he's dead, finally. I'm gonna sit over here where I won't die, hopefully. 
hopefully. There's no shrine box, so I can't explain that. I got killed by the freaking shrine. That was nice. Aww. Okay. That's it for in game. I'm going to show you a little bit about the upgrades out of game. That was a slow game. Only 958 kills. Very low scoring game. Usually, I have have played in a 5.5k game before. Lasted about anywhere between one and a half to two and a half hours. I don't remember the time. We had one really OP Bruce, and he just kept destroying. Hey, I got it. Items. When you, after you play a full game, you'll get usually a loot chest. I get two because I am a patron. Patron passport right there. Um, you left click these into the air. They give you more gold than you normally get. So the, it adds on, and then pennies you can turn into gold. I'll show you in a minute. And now they give you silver sometimes, which is used for cosmetic items and others. This is one of the upgraders. There's four for DVZ, one there, one over there, that guy, and then this what one. What do you need? And I don't want any of his upgrades, but you just look through, see what you need. Um, Where is it? Who has the thing I'm looking at? I hope we got what you want. This guy. Um, the gray here under the Lightbringer one means you have to have both of the ones before it at the right level, and then you can buy it. I don't have anywhere near. Oh, I did what have you buying? Enough, surprisingly. I now hope I we got what you enough. want. I kind of want to get this, but that's going to take a while to get because I have to have level three of this, which is about 15, 1,500 gold. And 1,500 gold takes about 10 games at least. I usually get if I'm if it's a good game about 200 if it's not like anywhere from 64 to just 100 and that's about all there is on the tutorial for DVZ that was a quick game that actually worked out well if you have any other questions would like to see a different video of this or a tutorial of any other games just any Minecraft games preferred but I can possibly get a hold of others just let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.